America's biggest investors have left New York. The state is collapsing, and they explained why New York has become hell for investors. Everything has changed there. Attitude towards investors, taxes, prices, priorities, and legal system. Investors don't feel safe anymore, and everyone is leaving. But what happened? What made such a great location for investors to become the place that no one wants to do any business with? Well, personal opinions of these investors will shock you about what is happening in the state and how horrible the situation has become. So let's explain why investors have left New York. Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary said on Monday that he won't invest in New York anymore. This decision comes after a court ordered former President Donald Trump to pay $355 million. O'Leary expressed his surprise at the ruling, saying he couldn't understand it. He thinks this makes New York a bad place for investment. He believes other investors feel the same way. O'Leary thinks businesses will leave New York for states like Texas and Florida, where it's easier to do business. He doesn't think New York Governor Kathy Hochul's reassurances will change anything. He emphasized that this issue isn't about Trump. It's about problems in New York. In the last four years, 200 companies have left New York and moved somewhere else. This is a big change for the city's businesses, affecting industries like finance and technology. And the money impact of these companies leaving is really big. Reports say over $15 billion has been moved out of New York because of these departures. Such a huge amount of investors leaving New York shows how much losing these businesses hurts the city's economy. Moving money away doesn't just mean less money coming in and fewer chances to invest. It also affects other areas like property and hotels, making the economy even worse. Because of these companies moving away, New York has lost money, jobs, and chances to grow. It's not just about money right now, but it also affects how people see New York as a place to do business and how it can keep talented people. But why investors have left New York? One big reason for why investors have left New York is that taxes are really high, especially the income tax. In New York City, the top income tax rate, along with the state tax rate, can go over 12%, which is one of the highest in the country. Also, investors have left New York because life in New York City is getting worse, especially because people are worried about safety and cleanliness. More crime and homelessness make investors wonder if the city will stay a good place to do business. When people think life is getting worse, it doesn't just affect how investors feel, but also makes it harder for businesses to keep and hire employees. With that, New York's infrastructure is old and hasn't had enough money put into important things like transportation and utilities. This old infrastructure makes it hard for New York to bring in new businesses and compete with other places around the world. If New York doesn't spend enough on improving its infrastructure, even more investors will leave New York, and it might fall behind other places that are not even top destinations for investors. When big companies like Goldman Sachs and Alliance Bernstein leave New York for places with lower taxes, like Florida, it shows that investors aren't happy with New York's business conditions. When these famous companies move, it tells other investors that New York is tough for business, and it makes them think about going somewhere else to invest. If more businesses do the same, it could really hurt New York's economy and make it less attractive for investors. In Dallas, the money business is growing fast. Big companies like Goldman Sachs Group and Wells Fargo have set up new offices there. This started happening after Charles Schwab moved its main office to Dallas in 2020. The reason companies are moving is often because they want to save money on taxes, enjoy the warmer weather, and find more affordable houses. According to company records, from the start of 2020 to the end of March 2023, over 370 investment companies, which is about 2.5% of all such companies in the U.S., managing $2.7 trillion in money, have moved their main offices to a different state. Many of these company moves were from costly areas in the Northeast and West Coasts to places like Florida, Texas, and other warm, sunny states in the Sun Belt. When these big financial companies relocate, they bring a lot of money with them. For example, North Carolina and Tennessee each got more than $600 billion in money from just two moves. Allspring Global Investment moved from San Francisco to Charlotte last year. Alliance Bernstein moved from New York to Nashville in 2021. One more significant departure from New York was about billionaire investor Carl Icahn, a financial powerhouse, which shifted a significant portion of its operations to cities like Miami. The primary motivation behind this move was to capitalize on favorable tax environments and lower costs of living, coupled with the allure of warmer climates. Another significant departure from New York City was that of hedge fund manager Elliott Management Corporation, which relocated its headquarters to West Palm Beach, Florida. For over 40 years, Paul E. Singer has been a big part of New York City's financial scene, founding Elliott Management, a hedge fund worth $41 billion, 
located near Central Park. However, he's now decided to move the headquarters from Midtown Manhattan to West Palm Beach, Florida. This move was influenced by the pandemic and concerns about the future of office spaces in Manhattan. Mr. Singer will stay in the Northeast, and some parts of Elliott will remain in New York. This shift follows a trend of wealthy investors like Carl C. Eichen moving to Florida for its good weather, beaches, and tax benefits. This move might not be good news for New York City, which is already struggling economically due to the pandemic. With fewer wealthy residents, the city's income tax revenue is expected to decline significantly. Elliott Management started thinking about moving to Florida during the pandemic when its employees began working remotely. Some worry that the pandemic has permanently changed how people work, which could hurt New York City's economy, heavily reliant on office work and commuters. The main reason for the move was to give employees more flexibility in where they live and work.